Operation Vala was launched recently in the Western Cape. It targets the nation's prisons, including the notorious Polesmoor. DCS officials stormed the prison cells, detaining inmates and searching their possessions. The operation includes a specialized correctional services task force, known as EST, or Emergency Support Team, as well as members of the SAP's flying squad and detective unit. Working together under Operation Viela, the group aims to combat crime both inside and outside the prison. In the past, this was the period where we had a problem with uh, escapes and attempted escape. But I must say, in the last two years during Operation Vala, we never had an escape. Officials confiscate multiple cell phones, which are then logged by DCS. The offender is charged with illegal possession. Cell phones are a major problem in prisons. Just this year, notorious crime bosses George Havel Thomas and Radovan Kretscher were found in possession of illegal cell phones in their prison cells. It was discovered that Thomas had made over 3,000 calls from prison using those phones, ordering the deaths of key witnesses in his trial. Since then, cell phones have been reclassified as dangerous weapons. They do make calls from public zones in a much more controlled manner. But when they smuggle cell phones, they smuggle them to do illegal activities. We have installed that technology in a number of our centers. Through that technology, we are able to see which cells have cell phones, and we go to those cells and we recover those cell phones. But that's not all the officials were after. Guards found stashes of antiretroviral drugs. Can you believe it? It's supposed to be under other guys Medicine. Used for treating HIV AIDS, offenders crush up the drug and smoke it to get a high. Marijuana and a variety of weapons were also found. We are appealing to communities not to give offenders illegal items because if they do so, these offenders commit crime outside and it affects the same communities. We arrested a woman in Drakenstein Correctional Facility who tried to smuggle in big and mandrakes. Unsuspecting parents, their friends will give them items to bring to the offender only to find that those items amongst them is illegal substances. In less than two weeks, the DCS will have conducted searches in all of its centres as part of Operation Vala. Correctional facilities are now in lockdown and will remain so until the end of the festive season.